What is going on Adventure Nation? You'd think by now we would know how to do this whole video thing, but we're still trying to get it right. In this video, we leave Pismo Beach, check out the little harbor town of Morro Bay, and head on up to San Simeon. This is the Motorhome Experiment. It's a little bit different morning, a little start to the morning. Kevin, if you guys don't know, has been doing what's called a couch to 5K. It's an app on your phone, right? Yeah. Helps you get off the couch and run 5K. That's kind of... It, yeah, it gradually steps you through week to week. Why it's called couch to 5K, I guess. Yeah. And uh, he's been doing that for quite a while. On Monday, a few days ago, I went out and ran on the beach because I was angry, trying to get off some steam. Did two and a half miles. My legs haven't liked me ever since. So today, I opted to go with Kevin on this little run and we did how many? What, two miles? Uh, it said jog for, run for two miles. I would guess at approximately two miles. I haven't checked my uh, little phone thing yet, but. See, Strava says we did 2.3. 2.3 miles yeah. this morning with two of us, so. I don't know if you've noticed this guy here, he's been, he's been slimming up, so he's down, I think right around 20 pounds, maybe a little over, yeah. so. Pretty exciting there, and. It's uh, hard to get exercise behind the wheel. Yeah, we don't exercise behind the wheel very <laughs> much, much at all. I'm just here to support Kevin. <laughs> Awesome. But I need to get out and run too because again, yeah, like he said, no exercise behind the wheel, but time to shower and then uh, we got to pack up and get the hell out of here. I know. All right, brother. All right, man. See you in a bit. Thanks. I'm going to go lay down and die now. <laughs> okay, we had to do a little bit of a rush job getting ready here. We were talking to some viewers, Bill and Debbie and John and Debbie, so we did a kind of rush to get unhooked, but we're heading out of Pismo Coastal village RV resort something like that and we're heading up the road so let's do this we've got the car all hooked up and we are rolling out of Pismo RV coast village resort spa and RV place and uh, name. yeah it's Pismo coastal RV village and uh, I, like I said earlier it is now in one of my top five Kevin doesn't like it because it doesn't have a spa or like it doesn't have a hot tub, but big but enough. So it's not having the hot tub. The pool itself was extremely warm, but bad water. But um, besides that, it has all the amenities and everything extremely clean, extremely well taken care of. So yeah, the, the bathrooms and everything are just absolutely immaculate and lots of space right now, but I understand they're getting ready. You can see they're striping some stuff here getting ready for the summer season and it'll probably be a little harder to get into but they have a lot of campgrounds here in Pismo and I'm actually shocked at how cool the area is I don't know why I'm shocked but I, we've been here before and I don't remember it being as awesome as it is and it's really just pretty but on up the road we go today we'll be stopping up at up near San Simeon near Hearst Castle and staying in a state park up there. So it should be cool. I will say sometimes it takes longer to get out of the RV park if you leave around check-in because you'll get these slow RVs like this one in front of us that just taking their time. They're, you know, no hurry to get out of the park. They don't realize that we've got places to go. Leave them alone. They might be newbies. They could so. be new, right? They could be newbies, right? They could be really old, yeah. probably. It's a Winnebago. Oh, and here's some viewers that we met earlier. <laughs> there they are, waving there. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. You're a good looking bunch. We'll be watching you guys. <laughs> See you guys. Bye, God bless. Thank you. Have fun. One of the other cool things about this campground and a couple of the other ones, the state beach and stuff, is it's right on the beach. This morning, Lorraine and I, before we checked out, we got a chance to hop over the fence, really, or hop over the dunes and, and head down to the beach and go for a walk. It was pretty cool. It's not quite right on the beach. There is like a channel, like a canal, and then the beach that you can't have to cross, just FYI, so you can go with jeans like I did. Yeah, you'll, you'll want to... Go in a bathing suit or something. Get your feet wet. Just put it that way. But it was pretty cool. Uh, we found some sand dollars, some live ones, some dead ones, and 
just had a nice little walk before we left. It was nice. I honestly wish we'd spent probably four nights here in Pismo, but it is what it is. You don't know, you don't know what you don't know. We have arrived in Morro Bay. We're not gonna spend a whole lot of time here, unfortunately. It's actually a cool little marina beach, beach town, town yeah. and cool little harbor front here, but we're gonna just roll up into town quick, walk up into town, actually. Well, first we're gonna eat, and then we just walk on the actual yeah. marina. But not a whole lot of time here. We're gonna roll up to San Simeon to Hearst Castle. And that's kind of our ultimate destination today. We've been noticing that there has been a ton of hot rod cars, classic cars and stuff like that running around. We just saw a sign now that says this weekend in Morro Bay, the first weekend in May, is a hot rod car show. So, totally makes sense now. That explains it. <laughs> Gonna have a hard time seeing them on camera, but out there on that barge, oh, you can hear them though. <laughs> That's the sea lions out there. Uh oh, we're losing Lori. Lori, don't go. It's too late, she's gone. I will say Morro Bay is a lot more dead than we're used to seeing it. I think we've just come during the real touristy times well, of the year. The times we have been here is like Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, that is true. Very, very busy. And right now it's during the week. It is kind of in shoulder season where it's not quite ready to be turned up and crazy yet. So nobody's here. <laughs> We actually were able to park the RV close to the harbor walk and walk around, which is kind of unusual, but. Yeah, don't try to do that if it's busy or yeah. summertime. But we are gonna drive down to the end and see if the big parking lot at the end is available and how much parking's down there, so we'll see. So as you just saw there, <clears throat> we came all the way down the end along the harbor walk, and I'll find out the name of the street, but you plenty of room to turn around if you want to come down around and turn around in there. There's actually plenty of room to park a rig down in there as well. It is paid parking, but you can park down there. And now you can see off to the left, the harbor and Morro Rock. Pretty cool little town. You can also come all the way down here into the end by the big rock. Ooh, lots of windsurfers out there. And there is a big huge parking lot here that you can turn around in as well. I wonder if you can overnight in here. Probably not. Probably not. I don't see RVs, so probably not. We're on the far side, but. One. But yeah, I'm assuming that they don't allow it, but very cool. At least you can easily turn around down in here. All right, let's get down the road, Miss Lorena. Sure, Paul. Sure. He's and you can see that, the, he's the one that on the harbor okay. walk there slow across. Down, slow down, slow down, slow down when you can.
we have arrived at the San Simeon State Park campground and we're just gonna go get settled in and maybe we'll go do a quick trip up to the sea lions or the elephant seals. <laughs> I don't know the difference between an elephant seal and a sea lion and a seal yeah, or a shark, too. really. Oh. I do know that difference, but the other stuff I don't know. I think the elephant seal has like a like, the big nose, like an big nose, like yeah. an elephant. It's not really like an elephant though. So, Kinda. anyways, we're going to find our campsite. We made it up here to San Simeon and the state park, and we were gonna just kick back for the night, but we're gonna head up and see some elephant seals. Should be cool. Okay, we are about five miles or so north of the Hearst Castle Visitor Center in Hearst Castle. And we're at a place called the Elephant Seal Rookery. And there's going to be some elephant seals here. I'm glad we made it out here. There's a couple. So hopefully you guys will be able to see this on the video. better place to end this video than right here with all this nature in our backdrop in the car in the car is actually a better place it is <laughs> it's less way noisy. too windy it was windy and noisy yeah a little bit chilly out there as well so we'll end the video here but just to tell you guys a little bit about what's going on out there it's mostly females juveniles and sub adults there's very few males out there this time of year and I guess the, the juveniles, when you see them kind of fighting and stuff, they're just kind of practicing in, in, for real life challenges when they come. And the sand flipping thing, they really don't have an they, explanation, right? They, they don't say why, they don't know why they, that happens. Yeah, they think it might be a sunscreen thing. They think it might relieve stress. I don't know about you, but if someone flips sand in my eyes, that total stresses me out. It's but like, I guess for them, the opposite. yeah, it does the opposite. <laughs> but for them, it's supposed to be good. And then, uh, like yeah. the the yelling and stuff like that is just like their way of communication it's the pups kind of like vying for their mom's attention and it's just the mom's so calling to the pups so there's different seasons yeah. here in the different seasons uh you can see different stuff like the main season and then the one the pups actually they just born to them little and then just get nursed uh that's at early in the year and right. yeah by now the males already are starting to migrate and just the females are here yeah and they said these guys spend a lot of time at sea and and very little time on the beach so when they're here they don't eat anything at all they literally just conserve energy so pretty cool but that's anyways. why they're always lame yeah that's your nature lesson Chilling. for this video <laughs> if this is your first time here it'd be awesome if you hang out with us a little bit get to know us check out some of our travels and that means you got to hit that subscribe button make sure you click on that little bell too, the notifications thing that way you get notifications when we have new videos come out It'd be really cool if you like the video and we'll see you again in the next one we're gonna do some visiting Hearst Castle and we'll be heading on up to the San Francisco area so you'll have to check that out in the next video bye guys bye guys